<laughs> They're lying to you. Something bad is happening here, and it's only getting worse. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And that is no joke. I just go through a lot of things, things that I just find interesting. It could be news and politics, movies, um, science, technology. Sometimes it's personal things and sometimes it's about games. And this time it's about The Sims 4. Apparently The Sims 4 is doing an official rebranding. They're rebranding, making a new image. So a new plumb bob, uh, rendering, box arts, and more, uh, they say. So, during a Maxis monthly live stream, the Sims team has announced that they'll be giving the Sims 4 brand a complete revamp. Uh, starting early uh, next week. Well, let's see. Based on this article, this could already be happening. <clears throat> but anyway, you'll be able to see The Sims 4 in a whole new way with a new uh, whole new plumb bob, new box arts, new renders, and a new color palette surrounding the game. So uh, here is uh, some of that. Oh, this has got a... What is that? We'll find out here. This is the plumb bob. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what The Sims are, uh, think Sim Simulation. Um... Hopefully you guys know what The Sims is. It's only been around for like well, ever. Um, and it's basically a people simulator. Um, Will Wright, who created The Sims, thought of it as a, a dollhouse doll doll simulator. And the original Sims game was kind of like a dollhouse. I mean, you had your little people, you had a house, and you kind of built it and... And played with her, you know, little dolls and sent them to work and, and stuff. And uh, since then and the expansions, you know, it's evolved into what it is now or de-evolved. Um, it depends upon you how you look at it when you compare Sims 3 with Sims 4. Uh, there are some good things about Sims 4, but I think Sims 3 is far superior. Um, my wife would disagree. She likes Sims 2. I like Sims 2 also. Uh, but... Um, the plumb bob, getting back to that, is a little thing that spins over the sim that you're playing, the little person that you're playing. It'll have a plumb bob over their head um, that lets you know, okay, you're controlling this particular sim, and the color of that plumb bob will let you know if they're in a good or a bad mood. So as you would uh, guess, a green plumb bob means they're in a really good mood. Um, a, a red one means they're in a bad mood, and it will have shades in between to let you know that they're somewhat happy, very happy, somewhat mad, or very pissed off. So, ooh, something over here about create a sim is getting a story mode. You guys see that right over here? Uh, and then there's another uh, update that's going to be unlocking a lot more objects. Interesting. New create a sim items coming with update. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff coming here, but let's kind of stick on target here. Okay, let's click, click this. Oh, that's all it does. It just makes it bigger. So <laughs> there you go. Um, the box arts. Okay, so all of the Sims 4 box arts will be getting a whole new look, starting with the Sims 4 base uh, game box art, which now features new Sims. Uh, we'll make this bigger so you can take a look at it there. So, yeah, these are the Sims. Kind of cute. Um, you know, I like I like their looks. I don't know why do they feel they have to rebrand? Because The Sims Four has been going on for a while, so it's almost as if they don't have plans to do a Sims Five. So they're kind of rebranding Sims Four. I don't know. That's kind of the impression. Why would you rebrand something if you're going to be releasing a, a, a Sims 5? It's been out. Sims 4 has been out for a while now. Seems kind of weird. It seems like it was released like a couple of years ago or something. Um, the base game isn't the only Sims 4 game that's getting a revamp. 
all of the current packs we have and the future ones coming as well will be getting a whole new look. Expansion packs will no longer be marked through their specific colors, for example, red for cats and dogs, but rather under the same color tone. All of the box arts will have their pack icon featured on the top right and will focus more on the renders now. Some of the box arts will even have an entirely different render featured, for example, the Sims 4 toddler stuff shown below. So um, here you go. These are like the different types of tones that they're talking about. So like the expansion packs have this uh, light blue thing going on here. Seasons, which I got. Seasons is actually, um, <laughs> that's when I actually bought Sims 4. I, I it's like, when Seasons came out, I'm like, okay, now I'm getting it. That's what I was waiting for. Um, but yeah, so I don't have all the stuff for Sims 4 yet. I have a, a few. Island Living just recently came out. I don't have that. Strangerville, I think it might be kind of fun to play around with, but I don't have it. Parenthood, I think I do have that one. And I think I have toddler stuff. Um, I don't have laundry stuff because that's kind of like a waste of money. Um, but eventually I'll, I'll get all of them. It's, it's kind of... Uh, Fun, one, fun to play around with, but if you're looking to make some animations or machinima or something like that, they're they're kind of neat to play around with for that aspect. And uh, sometimes you can get some really great uh, gaming videos out of them because just funny things just happen in The Sims. Um, I've got a series of Sims 4 uh, videos that I've done with a, um, a Sim called Nero. Nero the Hero. Um not doesn't seem awfully popular with people not it's not catching anyone's attention so i haven't really done anything new uh with it i'd like to i mean those are some of the most fun videos i've had uh just because of the crazy things that the sims do but um anyway uh the main menu um it's going to have a completely different look now there's a lot more room for expansion packs and game packs, stuff packs, and free packs in your collection. So you know what this actually tells me is, I mean, here's the screen right here. Kind of make this a little bit bigger. What this tells me, since they're rebranding, is that they're going to be doing a lot more expansion packs, a lot more game packs. Well, stuff packs, There's they need uh, some more room there. And... Well, we're probably not going to get a whole lot of free stuff. But that tells me that Sims 4 has still got several years uh, to go, I think. If they're rebranding this and reorganizing it, they're basically making more space to put more stuff. That's what I think. I could be totally wrong. But why would you rebrand something, you know, if something was getting to towards the end of its... Uh, you know, shelf life. Loading screen. The loading screen now features a new background and a new plumb bob. Uh, here it is right here. What? Power. The power of voodoo. Who do? You do. <laughs> Anyone know what that's from? If you don't know, it's from a movie. And if you don't know what movie it's from, shame on you. Shame, 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 shame on you. Because it's a movie classic. You should know it. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it as soon as this video is over with. Anyway, it seems The Sims team still has plenty of plenty of more plans for The Sims 4. Um, Sim Guru Frost elaborated on Twitter why the sudden change of the look, saying that one of the main reasons why they pulled this off was because of Sims 4 ongoing success. I guess it's uh, obviously it must be successful because um, they're constantly, you know, they're continuing to make expansion packs and stuff. They wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't if it wasn't making money. So, uh, and you know, I've played Sims Four. Like I said, I made some videos, and for what it is, it's actually kind of fun to mess around with. Um, I still think Sims Three is better. Uh, I love the open world with Sims Three, where you just sit there and go outside your house and walk down the street, walk in the town. I like that. I think that's just cool. Um, 
Sims 4 just seems like a step backwards. But it's got its own things. It's That makes it its own kind of thing. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it uh, in regards to this. Uh, this is from the Sims community uh, website. So I'll have a link in the description. You can take a look at that uh, for yourself. And there, um, like I was saying here, there's some uh, behind my head. <laughs> there's some other posts here that you might uh, find interesting here. Uh, the Sims team reassures players that there's still years of new content coming to The Sims 4. <clears throat> and some of the other things that I mentioned. Let's see, when did The Sims 4 come out? Let's check out Wikipedia. Okay, so here we are on Wikipedia. Um, this was released in North America on September 2nd, 2014. And it's 2019 right now. So it is five years. It has been... Well, it's not five years yet, um, but it's going on five years, and my goodness, <clears throat> when were the other ones? So The Sims 1 came out in the year 2000, Sims 2 came out in 2004, Sims 3 came out in 2009, so there's a five-year difference uh, between Sims 2 and Sims 3. Um, and between Sims 3 and Sims 4 is about f is four years. So we're already approaching five years on Sims 4. So based on the other Sims games, it's at the end of its shelf life. But instead of making a Sims 5, they're rebranding. They're rebranding everything. Um, which kind of, it makes me think that they're only halfway done with it. They're going to be doing a lot more stuff. So, oh, The Sims Online. Does anyone remember that? I love The Sims Online. The Sims Online, the little box art there. I was there on Sims Online day, no, before day one. That's right, I, w I, w I played in beta. I, I played it when it was in, in beta. Oh, man, that was just so fun. I mean, based off of The Sims 1, but uh, you could play with other people. You could go to their houses. Man, those were the days. Um, some people came up with some incredible houses and some fun lots and mazes and uh, unique little games. Uh, uh, they would make like um, like golf uh, golf courses and. <laughs> And just cool stuff. And and then uh, the internet radio, you'd have internet radio stations uh, hosting parties at people's places. And um, I was actually a part of that, um, as a matter of fact. I used to be a, a, a DJ on uh, Charmed Radio. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm Star Fox. Uh, <laughs> I have Star Fox videos on this channel. Um, yeah, so I was on, I started off on Blazin' Radio, and then Charmed Radio was like the big one. That was like the big uh, internet channel that was, uh, that would come on Sims Online. And I was really excited when I finally got a chance to get on uh, Charmed Radio. But, uh, man, those were fun times. Those were really fun times. And they tried, they tried to keep it going, they tried to save it, and it just, now it just died, unfortunately. And although you've got other games that have been able to stay alive through uh, emulation and private servers, I, they just weren't able to do that with Sims Online. I really wish they would. I think, I think if Sims Online was, uh, had been saved by the community you know with private servers and stuff I think it would still be running I think it would still be going but um, yeah anyway uh, that's that's it about uh, The Sims 4 what do you think about this do you play The Sims 4 do you like it um, do you think Sims 3 what is your favorite Sims game out, out of the series of four games which one's your favorite one two three four which one's your favorite expansion pack? Mine. Oh, this this is a great question. 
for Sims 3, I love Seasons. Uh, but for Sims 2, Open for Business was my favorite one. Because I just love the idea that I can make a business out of anything. Anything. Uh, so Open for Business was my favorite in Sims 2. Seasons is my favorite in Sims 3. And Sims 4, I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of there. Sims 1, though. What was my favorite expansion pack for Sims 1? Oh, man. I almost want to say Making Magic, the last one. Between that and Superstar, I don't know. That's a hard one. I never, you know, I never really thought about that. Because just back in the day, it's like I loved everything that came out for The Sims 1. I mean, uh, Hot Date, when you could finally leave your house and go into town, that was cool. And then there was Vacation. Oh, wow, we can take our Sims on vacation now. You know, and then they made the, uh, the little neighborhood bigger with Unleashed. So now you had, like, uh, you could leave the neighborhood. It was part of a much bigger uh, community that had an old town. And you had pets. Um, and then they had uh, the, um, the Superstar and the uh, Making Magic. And no, I did not forget about Live and Large and House Party. I did not forget about those. Live and Large just pretty much took the game and just added some more stuff to it. Um, and then uh, House Party uh, gave you party stuff so that way you could throw parties at your house. And uh, if you threw this Raven party, Drew Carey would show up. <laughs> and I did. I did that. Um, I had it where Drew Carey would show up. But you can also have Party Crashers show up too. And you had the uh, the birthday, the, the party cakes or the, uh, like the male dancer would jump out of or the female dancer it was it was, it was cool, man. That was that was fun times. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, which one's your favorite out of that? Uh, maybe, maybe you don't really care for The Sims. Maybe it's another Sim game, like maybe uh, Sim City or Sim Earth or Sim Tower, uh, or maybe simulation type of games such as a flight simulator or the uh, City Skylines or something. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, maybe you play them all. Tell me. Let me know um, uh, what you like in regards to this. Let's let's talk about it. And while you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I do videos on all kinds of different stuff. Um, check out the Sims videos that I've got. I don't have a lot of them, but I do have um, a few of them. So check those out. And hey, if there's actual interest going into them, maybe I'll do more. Uh, but hey, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another rambling video.